And I remember going to the blocks and the guys next to us saying, that's the fag team. And I turned to the relay and I said, we are going to crush them. And we did. We started in response to a certain amount of homophobia and the empowerment that comes from athletics and especially gay men not being seen as athletes back in 1982. And the whole idea back then is if you were gay, you were very feminine, you didn't like to do sports. So this changed the norm. I mean, no one could imagine that there were athletes that were gay. By going to these straight swim meets as a known gay team and out gay team and winning, it was empowering. But we were discovering ourselves and what our, what our power was. And we became a family. The team was created in 82, AIDS surfaced in 82. At one point in time, there was a funeral every week. They thought if you were gay, you probably had AIDS, and if you had AIDS, you were going to infect everybody. We couldn't even get a swimming pool. People were afraid that if you swam in the pool that you could get it. When they found out it was a gay team, they started breaking in to our cars. At the gay games in New York, they put so much chlorine in the water that it was actually painful. Swimming helped because in a way it was a distraction. It was you knew you could swim. If you could swim, you could live. Or at least you were alive for that moment. Engage. We're engaged. I proposed, he said yes. There's always a group from every generation that sticks. The team is solid that way, and the team serves a purpose for different reasons for different people. Yeah, swimming was uh, it, my life savior.